Welcome in everyone. So what we're going to be talking about today is our drop shipping financial sheet. And it's a it's a whole template. I'm gonna give you all that for free. So just stick until the end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to use it. And then I'll give it to you guys. And you guys can make a copy of it and use it for your own uh, peace of mind when it comes to making sure that your profits are there right? One is profits. Number two is you want to make sure you organize everything when you when you find your listing and how to actually organize it on the sheet when you actually get it sold. And then number three is actually to see your profits when you've actually sold it. Okay. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down. I'll share it real quick. And then you guys can tap in and you'll be able to pretty much take this whole template. Get I, Like I said, it's all for free. You guys can have it. And all you got to do is make a copy. So first, what you need to do and I'm kind of actually kind of surprised that not a lot of people know how to do this. I get this question asked a lot whenever I share Google Sheets. You got to go to file and make a copy, okay? You won't be able to um, edit this until you actually make your own copy into your own uh, Google Drive. So as you guys can uh, see the different columns, so we have date listed, right? The date you listed it, how many are in stock, supplier URL, supplier price, listing price, the profit you get, profit margin, platform that you're listing, um, that you're actually getting it from or you're listing it on fees taxes shipping fee and a note note sold and then any other uh, things for like description that you just want to add as far as notes okay and i know it's a lot you don't have to use every column um, i kind of got to show you guys a little bit about why i put every column in there and then from there it's up to you if you guys want to use it or not okay so Obviously, with this financial sheet, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to keep track of our listings and it's supposed to keep track of the sold listings. So let's say we listed it at the beginning of this year, right? So 1, 1, 21. And then you can look how many are in stock. This is up to you. Um, you don't have to, uh, but if you want, you can just put, okay, seven in stock. And then supplier URL. A lot of our suppliers, I mean, one of them is just Walmart. So we drop ship from Walmart. And if you guys want giving assistant, this is good to get your cash back. So you guys can download that Chrome extension. It's free giving assistant. And it, you, you're already going to pay using um, other people's money anyway. So you just get money back cash back. So let's just say we go to home office, any random product, right? I always use a free delivery options with high ratings and if it can get delivered quick, but I'm just using this for whatever, um, any purpose, okay? Would I list this? I'm not sure. I'd have to look more into it. So I would put the supplier URL because whenever we list, we want to be able to find the supplier, right? Like right away. So I can I always control find and I look for whatever this the sold listing is. So what we do is the supplier price. So supplier price is 125 bucks, okay? With free delivery, obviously. And look, they only have six left. <laughs> And this is where it gets interesting, depending on where you guys are drop shipping from. So six lefts, 125, that's how much it is. And the next thing that I want to do is how much I'm listing it for. I usually kind of double it or at least do it anywhere from 50 to hundred dollar profit. So I'll list it for 200 bucks, right? And it'll automatically generate the profit right here in that column. Boom. And then it'll also give you the profit margin percentage, all good stuff, right? So everything has already been done for you guys. All you got to do is kind of add all these lines. And what I want to do is I want to figure out what, well, what platform am I, uh, what, what platform am I placing it on? So we, we could talk about Facebook marketplace offer up. If you guys are doing Amazon, maybe you guys are doing eBay, whatever. Okay. And then you just put what, whatever platform you have listed it on. And then it's going to ask for what the fees are, the taxes. This is pretty much after it's sold. Okay. So you'll know taxes based on like whatever platform you list it on, but also whoever your supplier is. So whatever the taxes are, I'll usually do like 10% just to be safe. So I'll just say, okay, taxes are 1250 just to be safe. Right. Um, and then it also, when you do that, that, that along with the fees, let's say that the platform charges um, a percentage, for example, Amazon uh, charges a 15% fee. So, I know this gets a little bit more in depth, but you guys will start to learn to based on whatever uh, platform you guys are listing on. So let's say you're listing on Amazon because I already know it's 15% they take. It's 1875. So what's going to happen is your profit is always going to get optimized based on whatever the taxes and the fees are. Okay, so this is just good. So you guys can actually keep track and know like, okay, is it worth listing it if I do it at this price? Let's say I want to go at 150. I lose $6, 175. 
1875. So this is just a, a way to just keep track. And then how much was the shipping fee? It's free. And then any notes that you guys want to add, that is there. Okay. And that's how I use it. So it's good because it automatically just calculates all the different plat uh, things on the platforms. What I usually do, just as, this is just a hack. When I optimize, I'll usually put the description right here. So I know this is a desk, right? So I'll just like optimize it. And I'm sure you guys know that keyword searching is really big when it comes to all these uh, third-party platforms. So for example, I always want to add office desk, office desk, and then I'll just add a lot of the different things. Office wood desk with metal base legs. Okay, so office wood desk, metal legs. I'm kind of showing you guys how I would kind of quickly just get all the keywords uh, together to drawer storage, right? So I'll put with two drawer storage. The more you add on to the description, however long the max is on every description, the, the better and the more uh, visibility I'll have when people are searching up these keywords. That's why the title is very important. Okay. So that's how we do it. Boom. And then here's what's interesting. When you get one that sells, for example, it sells, right? And you sell it on a, a specific platform. And let's say you have hundreds of listings, like this thing's all the way down to like 573C. So you have hundreds of listings and you're like, well, where, where I get it. The best place to find it is to just control find. And then let's say we sold that. I would put office, wood, desk. That's why I would list it. And also I would put it here. Because once you have hundreds, trust me, y'all, I've had trouble with this where I'm like going through each one, trying to figure out what is the link. And then here's a link. And then once you find it, boom. So, and then let's say you sold it for that price. Now you have the link, boom. And then you can go ahead and fulfill it with your guys's uh, supplier. Okay. So after you've sold it, we have this where it's, it's another tab down here. It's our sold listing. So now you can actually keep track of everything. And it has pretty much everything here that you need from what is the product name. So let's say we, that the date listed, you can add the date listed if you want. This is just to keep track of just like data. Like, oh my gosh, I listed this like 60, 70 days ago when it sold today. Wow. Supplier URL. So we put the URL there. Boom. And then it's going to, it's just going to put all the, it's, it's going to calculate everything for you guys from the margin and everything. Again, what's cool is now we want to be able to track because once you guys are doing like hundreds a month plus on different accounts and whatnot, you want to be able to track, right? So you, you can put your tracking there. Let's say you're, you sold like 10, 10 today, 10 tomorrow, 10, 10 the next day and 10. So you got like 40, 50, 60 orders that are out there. And then you get a customer that's on in, uh, in your messages saying, Hey, you know what? Like, what's the, <laughs> what, what is the uh, status on my delivery? And then you're going to have to go through everything. That's why it's best to have all that here. Put the tracking, you put the order number, you put, if you got paid or if the plat and if the platform paid, so it really hits every part of the process. And once you guys get this cheat sheet, it's going to pretty much help you all to, you know, kind of optimize really, really optimize and get it to the point where you're like, oh, wow, you know, this is, uh, this is the whole, whole, whole process from A to B. And I think this is a good sheet to kind of start off with that. So let me know if you guys have questions on this sheet, you guys can drop it in the comments below. Like I said earlier, it's as easy as as soon as we send this to you, you just make a copy and you get full access to this and boom, it's all yours. So hopefully this helped. Um, it'll pretty much give you guys any thing you guys do in the future. This is a good template, a good sheet to use for drop shipping in the future and for anything that you guys are doing in this space. Um, and also, cause I think, you know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys are savvy when it comes to uh, Excel sheets. Me personally, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm really not. So I'd rather have these, these resources that are, that are there. And I'm not the one that's always building out these things where it's organized. But once I saw this full uh, thing, and then I added a few things that I, I thought would help. And it's kind of like going from point A to point B, right? From A to Z, actually. So let me know again. Um, you guys can tap the link below. You guys get full access to it. Just tap the first link you guys see below. And other than that, if you guys like this stuff, subscribe, hit the notification bell, any questions. And if you guys like stuff like this, I'm going to be uh, really sharing a lot of different tips, tricks, hacks, productivity. Uh, that's kind of like what I've been into recently. So that's what I want to drop on this channel. So if you guys like that, stay tuned for a lot more. Take care and I'll see y'all soon.
All I see is blessings. Got no time for stressing. Don't believe in failures in my life. It's so